I'll check it real quick. Okay. Because what it normally, not normally does, what it sometimes does, it'll pop up and then it'll get cut off right after that. You know what I mean? So. That's it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't know why or who or what. I'm talking all over the intro. All right. All get back. right. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> back to the good stuff. Shut up, Bink. Look at this. That is more than most appreciated. Yes, indeed. Um, yes. <laughs> William H. Yes, sir. Ski. Yeah, okay, we good. Let me turn this down. Down, down. Try tonight. There we go. All right, cool. Um, we about a minute in now, so it should be. Well, hopefully, yeah. it stays up. Yeah, we good. Yeah, we're going to claim that. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> I think it's. Why is that? Like the other That's a <laughs> Stop being assholes when you're in the so studio. I see, so I secret with power. That's it. Well, eh, it's really secret. Not a secret. Okay, I'm about to say this. <laughs> they know. Well, nah, he, they, they need to get the message in. <laughs> anyway, so let's act like we actually got an audience. What's good, y'all? Uh, you're truly DJ Nas checking in for the Pulse or Pulse podcast. Here back on a Thursday, just in case you ain't know. Now you know, because it's, you know, the day's almost over. Alongside my partner in crime, the one and only. What up, yo? Swell, man. Will a thrill. Professional shit talk extraordinaire. Yep. Love for the people, the culture, and everything about it. Yep. Yep. What's going on, bro? Chilling, blood. Ha <laughs> <laughs> It's bracking out here, man. It's Thursday, man. Thursday, we Mr. back. Mr. Thursday on a Friday. Yeah, feel more no, Mr. Friday man. on a Thursday. I'm going to get it right one day. Mr. Thursday on a Thursday. Yeah, that's it, you know too. I mean? Back like you never left, man. Yeah, that's indeed. supposed to be at, Thursdays feel better. They do. They Thursdays feel better gonna, and blacker and deaf. Shout out mm. Chris Rock. Thursdays um, What up, Face? Come on, now. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Thursdays belong to us. That's why. Oh, that's what you're trying to get off. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. We're here. What's up? Shoot. Thursdays belong to us like the Knicks on the MSG set. See what we outside. Already, it's game time. Mm. It's game time already. So yeah, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. Mm. We needed that one. Oh man, we getting right to it, huh? Nah, nah. We're gonna say, we're gonna say, we're gonna say. Hey, the good news is we got two different verses to talk about. So I don't know if we're gonna break them up. We're gonna lump them in together. What you think? Oh, I only know about one. You must be talking about the fake one. Before we get to that, Ooh. how about okay, yeah, Ooh. yeah, well, smoke. It, that, I smell mean, it? honestly, man, that's all it is. You saw that? Smell smoke. <laughs> My mother's making swordfish when we left, so the house was kind of, you know, <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's in the air. Yeah, yeah. Hey, go, what up? My son burning. Yeah, <laughs> she don't like it when I say that either. She give me this look, that Gemini look like. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Accent. I was like, I'm leaving. Don't worry about it. Accent. Yeah. Heavy. Exactly. Start talking listen, about food, boy. Listen, and disrespectful after that. Yeah. How was the rest of your week, other than? Basketball. Yeah. <laughs> My week was good, bro. No complaints, man. Okay. Uh, businesses is moving. Yep. That's true. She's yes, growing. indeed. Uh-huh. Growing. Uh -huh. Yep. Fa fast? <laughs> Can we say fast? Yeah. yeah. It's a good thing, man. What, 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 I, what I always say, I say, hey, man, the good thing about being busy is that means we got work coming in. Oh, I thought you were about to say something else. Good thing Easy. about being busy is you're staying out of trouble. So that's that true. be one of my models, so, you yeah. know. Tr you you in trouble? Oh, no. Bruh. Bro. No. <laughs> Back when I had aliases? Oh, man, my goodness. Not you, Marcus. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. First the fat boys break up and that is. Get your man. Like you don't know what time it is. Get your man. Anyway, anything else personal you want to share to people real quick before uh, we get to it? We get into it. Nah, man, I'm good, bro. Mm. Fantastic weekend. Okay, man. cool. Daddy weekend? Yes. Looking forward to spending time with my babies. On Memorial Day weekend, too? Memorial Day Caribbean, weekend. Caribbean Festival here in Atlanta and in Orlando this Big weekend. Big massive step up. Are you good? Y'all, you taking the, taking the kids out, out there? Hell no. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> It's gonna be a trillion people outside. Yeah, yeah, back outside. Think about yeah, it, man. Right? All the people that have come back from last year that yeah. can't have it. Yeah. I can't take the heat, bro. I ain't gonna. That's what it is. Yeah, that's really what it is. Bro. I understand. When I should be in the high eighties and the touch ninety. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Fat people know. Tap, tap, keep tap. Keep your ass inside. Fuck <laughs> around and have a heat stroke. Out so there. you can't even. This man, won't be enough. It, the tap, the, the towel. It's not enough. I'm about to walk around with a with a with a with a pool on my back. Like I'm about to get a little kiddie pool and just put on like a red wagon. Mm. Don't give me ideas. Yeah, we should man. get a Let's pickup see. truck. <laughs> Turn it back into a jacuzzi like the uh, like the Cameron video. Yeah, and we'll ride around back there. Yeah, on a flatbed. Mm. So you be in the pool, oh, right. and then the band and the DJ. Mm. I don't know how to work with the water and, and the women dancing, but you know, chest naked. I see you going, man. I see you going with it. Chest naked, pop and box. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Seven, Outside. Seven chains on. Cr <laughs> Ready to share them all off. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> shout out to Cam, yo. Oh man! Just yeah, made me think of something. Did you um listen to the J Cole album yet? 
I have listened to the J. Cole. That's what made me think it can, because you know he's on the intro. Yeah, he is. Talking at Harlem. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's that's why I was like, you know what? I kinda like how that sounds. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wanted I wanted a verse. Yeah. I, I, of course. Of course he wanted kind of, that. Like it was it was definitely one of those like you hear him like, oh Cam about to go on Yeah. This. And you're like, I right, can't Cam about to go on this. <laughs> then the song ended and I was like, oh. Yeah, that was a good record. I thought, <laughs> I thought Cam was going. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. It's always like that when you have an ill rapper that, that just does the hook. Yeah. And you're like, yo, that's that's what you use them for? Yeah. That was it? I mean, they they like doing it all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. you know. Um, I thought that was my phone, knowing yeah. I ain't got an Android, because iPhones don't ring like that. You know, yo, they you got more bass in it. They got they have more bass in their voice. That's you all I'm saying. Chill. That's all. Let me turn my Bluetooth. Oh, hold on. Because I you deserve one. There we go. All right. Now we're feeling better. But nah, what did you think of the album? Because we ain't talk about Did we talk about it last week? No, nah, we didn't. You sure? Positive. I think I talked about it because I listened to it. No, but you, no, all right, go in. What you talk? What you? What, how you feel about it? No, it was a good. Shemaya, album. what up? Um, I'm trying not to give it to the regular like fucking cookie cutter answer, but <laughs> you know how I it do. was. It was. I need another listen. I, I before I, before I, like it was good. I didn't think it was shitty. I thought it was good. Oh, wow. but I'm just trying to like. I want <laughs> to see. I, I don't want, want you to give it. Yeah, no, no, I want to see how good it was. <laughs> you know what? Yo, bro, Cole's in that in that room where it's like, like your good is is just. What it's mindset? Not good enough. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, describe good. to the people what, what you were doing. Where were you? Were you driving? Were you in the car? Were you in the yeah, house? That's, that's the other thing. I kept having to break it up so I couldn't get a full listen. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I kept having to do a song and a half here. Yeah. Go do a hundred other things. Yeah. Come back and hear another song and a half, and then go do a hundred. Like I, I couldn't never like put it together for the sort of get the whole the body working together. Yeah. Yeah. I feel not you even on the that. first one. So there's a lot going on. on. I do. So I can't. I don't. I, don't, I can't shit on it. Yeah. And I also can't say it's the greatest shit I ever heard. Like I can't. I can't do that either. You know what I mean, I, it, it, first listen, I know it wasn't trash, so thank God for that. Oh my gosh, like they, these no, are not bro. helping at all. No, so like, these, <laughs> no, these are helping because, bro, some albums I listen to a, a quarter of, and I'll be like, yeah, this shit wasn't it. Okay. Nah, this album's good. Uh, 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 okay, well, up to good now. Yeah, up to good. JP, what up? Um, nah, good is fucking great, to be honest. Compared with to, <laughs> like, listen to bro, Queens. I listen to some. Listen man, to Queens. Listen, you know, bro, because I listen to some shit, and I'll be like, yo, fam. Yeah. Back to the drawing board with this shit. Yeah. This, this ain't it. Yeah, you know what I mean. But well, let, let's talk some facts real quick about it. Cause, you know, me. you know, since we love Billboard on the show, like they'd like to say, uh, mm -hmm. number six, number one album. All six of his official albums have gone number one. Have they? Yeah, huh, nice. yeah. Since the first one, mm. you know, not counting the mixtapes. I'm talking about, you know, um, all the albums are. I think he did like 208, 226,000 somewhere in there. Uh, number one in the country. I think the second biggest release this year. Look at me spitting facts. Um, so yeah, those are facts. All 10 of the tracks are on iTunes. All right, that's enough of that. You get the point. So um, it's definitely a win. And while all this is going on, mm -hmm. um, he over there balling in Africa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, who is he playing for, Ghana? Is it? He's looking for the Patriots out there. He's looking real Yes, medi yes, that's who it looking is. Looking real mediocre. Jop, he asked you, he asking you, Will, is going number one easy? Hell no. <laughs> uh-uh. Now, granted, he got the machine behind him. So Super about, machine. Yeah, he got the machine behind him, so. That the, oh shit my bad that mm. does help, but like he he's a strong enough artist where he could go number one. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like some people I'll be seeing out there, but like yeah, that was a hundred percent the machine. Yeah, you know what I mean. He he's. That, Who you talking about though? Nah, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not here to kill anybody today. Not today. Not today. It's Thursday. Yeah, well, we kill him on Friday. Shows early. Uh, <laughs> just getting started. Shit, I, I, I made backtrack on it, but nah, but nah he, he he's big enough to have the like the content and the machine, so that that combination is retarded. Yeah. Okay. I think you're, um, I'm going to go ahead and say this because I, I actually had a chance to listen to it straight okay. through. And I really feel like we talked about this. So if y'all hear me, I feel like it, but I could be wrong. Nah. So don't hold me to it. But, you know, I, I went back again, double back and listened to the album a few mm -hmm. more times, you know, since it came out. Because it's going on two, tomorrow will be two weeks. Right. You know, so I caught some bars that I wanted to. I, I, I wanted to focus on and get your initial reaction since oh, I knew, sweet. I kind of knew you hadn't had a chance to really dive in and, yeah. you know take part in what was really going on. So, I wanted to get my <clears throat> on real quick. And I'm only going to do six bars. You know what I mean? So, um, you ready? You're almost ready. Talk to me. Let me know when you're ready. You sure? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> He's got me all uh, like, wait, he ain't, he, ain't, he ain't focused yet. Okay, cool. Um, what I want to pick, because this, you know what, this joint, this joint had, had a lot of key points in it. But I'm, I'm going to just start from the middle of the verse, right? Mm-hmm. 
Not even on dates, I celebrated my birth. Just did the mental math and calculated my worth. Shit crazy. Didn't know I got more M's in a real Slim Shady video. I'm the real Shady. Big boss like Rick Ross. More like a wavy old hideo. More like a wavy hideo. Kojima, they tote steamers around the way we tippy toe. Around crack vials and cold blooded killers, no reptiles, just projectiles from niggas salty. You rocking a fresher. Oh, see, I okay, can't I even get. I got you. I got you. <sighs> fresher textiles. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I seen best pals grow up and switch. I hate to see it. Sometimes over a couple of dollars, more times over a bitch. I hate to see. Anyway, all right. So that main part, right? The textile line is what really caught my attention. Like, cool okay, yeah, Rep- yeah, yeah, yeah. And textiles. Yes, he, yeah, he caught that. Yeah. One. So that was just a little bit. It wasn't even as. He had a ball on the other one, on the other joint with the uh, put an M on your head. Now you Luigi brother. Yeah, I was yeah, like, whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah. Whoa. So you had been listening to nah, this. That's what I'm saying. I, okay, I, I, okay. I, I put some time in. I just didn't been able to like enjoy the whole thing as a whole. Okay, but yeah, I mean, Jay Cole's a lyrical genius, bro. So he's gonna he's gonna go ham. He's up there with Nas and Jay. I'm not doing that. Come on, you said what's above lyrical genius? Then yeah, I guess not. So what do they got him? Brian, what up? I'm asking you. These are your titles. You know, you know, Queens like making stuff up. So let's go. Making stuff up. Yeah, I mean, making abbreviations Chill. for certain things. <laughs> Sid, what up? Chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, nah. If, if, if Cole is a lyrical genius, you're calling Jay and not. You're saying he's not on the same level as Jay and Nas. Nah, those are God MCs. Bro. Okay. Those God level MCs. Bro. Okay. Who else is up there on that God MC level? Since we're here. Since we're here. Since we're here, let's do it. Jay, Nas. Mm-hmm. Mm. You look well, a little hot okay. today. Uh, right, Cam. Since you're talking about yeah, God MC, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Yeah. You know what? I, I got to see. I know that they've done enough to like to get to that point. I just got to. You know what? The thing that Jay and Nas are, and Rock Kim too, and like especially Jay and Nas is the just the length in which. Mango, what up? The length of time in which they've like been relevant in hip hop is so like, like it, they're in the league of their own. Like nobody's done it. So you're not putting Rock Kim up there with them. Rakim's up there, but you got to think about how Rakim, like his relevancy in hip hop. Don't kill me. We're though. talking I about lyrics, though. We're not talking about relevancy. We're not talking about all of that. We're all talking about lyrics. And, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I cut you off. My bad. Continue like, why, on. Why, why don't that matter? Because I, I, I thought we were talking about bars and bars alone. No. Nah. Okay, go ahead. Break it down. What does that mean to you? No. Nah. All of that shit counts. This is when it come for you. Yeah. What, what, <laughs> I don't give a, bro, come for me. All of that shit counts. Right, right, okay, so what else is it? Give, give me your top three things when you when you consider somebody I mean, God MC level or Supreme MC, however you want to put it. Lyrical content got to matter. So, I, I mean, I get Rakim is in that spot. But I'm talking about his, his bodies of work, right? So if your last ill body of work was... 30 years ago? I'm no, nice. no. Are you you wilding right Ill now. last Rakim album was you when? You wilding. You know it was 2021, right? Yeah, now I, I'm not saying it hasn't been a minute, okay. but it wasn't no 30 years ago. When was it? The um the last R was hard. It was crazy, though. Yeah, so. Uh, All right, I'm trying to tell. <laughs> listen. See, 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 this is why he gets himself in trouble. Because you're talking to a DJ. Listen, man. You're talking to a DJ slash former MC who was never really an MC. So. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Think about it later. Make no more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh now. Figure that shit out right. when you get home. That's all I'm nah, saying. That's right. Shout out to Red Man. Speaking of God MCs. Here we go. Here we go. I'm saying. Every Here time I bring up some MCs, <laughs> somebody got to bring up it. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky Marciano was the greatest boxer. All right. All right. I'm still waiting. Yo, y'all yeah, don't understand. Over. They got jokes. They're like, yo, it's hot over there? Listen, <laughs> Yvonne. Hot thing is. <laughs> Listen, smoking. They keep moving the lights closer to us. Bro. So. Niggas is glowing out. Oh, here. my gosh. Like, show enough. <sighs> but anyway, show finish your point so we can move on to something else. No, 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 no. You know, I always hesitate, like, throwing everybody in one crew because then I feel like shit gets tarnished. Kinda Separate like the, it. Separate it then. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. Okay, I'm going to shut up. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, like, the whole, it's like the, the rap hall of fame. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, if we're going to let everybody in, mm. is it really a Hall of Fame? I agree with you. But what is your deciding factor to say you make it in, but you don't? Fool me said the same thing, right. Rakim. I, I, Listen, you're going to have to talk nah, about that. I, I'm going to get my dissertation later on about why Rakim belongs up there. But go ahead. You got, I, I guess I would have to look at it through through time. Mm-hmm. And, and I think, I guess I, I, I have to take that into account. I can't not. Right. Because if that's the case, I can't put like certain cats who are that then I can't put them in with the guys now. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like you—you. You, it's hard to compare like 
Wilt Chamberlain to, to Shaq to me because like y'all played in two different eras. I don't that don't take away from neither one of y'all greatness during y'all time. You talking about basketball or something else? I'm talking about in in general. Most okay, because like I'm just asking. Well. Hip hop as well. Oh, I didn't mean that. Like but, so, yeah, okay, like cool. Oh. <laughs> so cats that are pioneers of hip hop that were considered like the lyrical genius and then mm -hmm. you know what I mean? How can we come out today and be like, nah, them niggas ain't shit now? Mm. That that I, I don't I don't want to be that guy. So because that, that shit don't feel right to me, <sighs> and it shouldn't feel right to you. <laughs> that, don't, that, that, that doesn't feel right to me. So I, I guess I got to put it in errors. Because if, if I'm putting it in errors, I feel like L is an ill ass fucking. Uh, I would. That, you know he's gonna be up there. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm just saying. Like last I'm just but like, saying. I, I put, but, but what I put L in, that doesn't mean you have to put L and, Court, and J up? and Nas in the same. They in the same boat? Can you defend it is my question. I could defend it. Could well, defend that's what I'm saying then. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, so, so I guess they in the boat. So Joppy said, uh, but non-J albums don't knock one Rakim or one Nas album. Mm, I don't know if I agree with that. Yo. I don't know if I agree with that at all. Um, yes. <laughs> Nas said, longevity is nice, but impact is nicer. Hmm. So what 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 doesn't Jay have? Oh no, I didn't say no, Jay no, didn't I'm just saying, like I just tell people my question, like say, impact. So what what what? Well, we well, okay, we're, we're agreeing that Jay and Nas are in, yeah. right? I'm saying why Kim is there too. Okay. Who else are you putting up I, there? That's I, all I'm no, saying. I hear that argument. He said, "I like being wrong, but I can defend it." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear that argument. Yo, there's certain people. There's certain people you can say, and I'm like, I hear that. Mm -hmm. Like when you say red man, I don't be like get the fuck out of here. I be like, no, I hear that. I can make that argument. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. If I if I said uh, Jewels, you'd be like, you, you wouldn't say Jewels. I wouldn't. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> no, for example, <laughs> and this is no disrespect to Jewels. It pulled them out of the air. Yeah. But then you be like, yo, chill. <laughs> yeah. No disrespect. Yes. But chill. Yes, indeed. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yo, don't do that. Don't do, don't do that to Jewel. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. I mean, you nah, do them out do there that like that. Either. I mean, they go that train, just throw them on. Yeah, it's it's, it's kind of like when it, when uh, when uh, when Dipset Owen was going at Jay, mm. and Jimmy's like, "Yo, I'm better than you." And, you, and niggas was like, "Jimmy, shit, we like you." Bro. <laughs> yo, I like I like you, bro. Just keep, chill out. Keep the, the koofy smacking talk. Yeah, that's more yeah, your lane. Yeah, that's yeah, more your lane. Let's, let's, let's take it easy. Bro. You and Game need to hang out. Yeah, let's. <laughs> let's, let's, let's Let's not let's not speak to the Yo, let's not speak to the yellow lights, bro. And this is what and Joppy's making a good point. So after mm -hmm. those first three names, then the stu the actual discussion really starts. It's okay. like after that, it's like who would who else would you put on that level with them? Dre. Dre who? Three thousand. Oh, not, okay, just making not, sure. Bro. Okay, okay. Not that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Said, whoa. Wait a second. You would put three stacks? Andre Three Stacks up there with I like three stacks, bro. I understand. We I that, see, that might be Can you defend it? I can defend it. Defended in 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Why Andre 3000 is on the same level lyrically as Jay, Nas, and Rakim? Go. Uh, lyrical content. As far as being an innovator, I'd argue that he's more innovative than damn near all of them. As far as just being different and, and being and still having that that ability to be to be lyrical and be nice and, and be relevant. Like he's all of those things plus 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 because his style is unlike anybody else's. It's not even close. Like, there's nobody that's even, like, close to being like him. He's just him. Five seconds. Done. I'll save it. Okay, first of all, Soldier Boy. I'm not even joking. Okay. I'm saying Soldier Boy and the, and the sing song. Okay, the sing songy style mm -hmm. that Dre adopted in the latter parts of him doing features and stuff like that. Where'd that come from? He adapted to what was going on currently. You not seeing this connection? Oh, let me show you. Get get. So I'm gonna keep so, going. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. But that, but that would that would insinuate that he wasn't at all doing any kind of songs like that before then, and that's not true. Good point. Good point. Okay, because even on the art of storytelling, he was still doing it. Yeah, he was back doing then. That. And that was the art of storytelling part one was '98. That was the Criminal album. Fucking so Soldier Boy was four. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good point. Good point. All right. So you're putting Dre up there. So we got Dre. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him rock with we that one. Stop this list. Come on. This let. This list <laughs> yeah, we said you did so <laughs> you, you got Kendrick up there. I do. I was get. I was waiting for my turn. But y'all bring it up. Okay. So let, let's go there. Go. We talking about God MC level. Yeah. We talking about Jay Nas, Rakim, Andre 3000, mm -hmm. and my next entry because he's one of my top five of all time. Even though it changes, I don't care. It would have been Kendrick. Kendrick or Ray. Mm. I need a minute. I need a minute, people. I need a second. I need a second. Hold on. Let's go to studio break. Hold on. We'll be back. Roll the commercial. What's up, Carrie? 
Ooh. Oh man, you got I got to choose between Kendrick and Redman. That's why top five lists are always the fucking worst. Man. Oh my god, this is why I don't do them. Yeah, and now we get gun, roped into it. Gonna shit on somebody. Job piece says Redman over Kendrick, and mm. I'm sure he's probably saying that because of longevity. Um, well, actually, and because of influence too. And the reason why, and I don't want to take his argument, I kind of know Jappy, but Redman has influenced so many other MCs in his time span. Yeah. It's different. And then Carrie says Kendrick. He <laughs> <laughs> said Redman. You got some question marks on Redman. She's a Met fan. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Well, she knows um, who's better. Yeah, 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 we're not doing that. Look at this sweat. Yo, I'm about to push back. Listen. There's no ocean waters around Yo. here close enough for me to be sweating like niggas this. Out here, niggas out here hooping. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to stay focused. I'm, I'm a halftime professional most yeah. of the time. Um, but to answer the question, Redman or Kendrick, I still can't answer the question. No, no, no moving on. <laughs> but nah, since you hit that soldier boy, no, since you since you cranked that soldier boy, so to speak. I kind of did. I was reaching. A little bit? I, I was trying to. I, nah, was, that was, I like right, it, though. Right. But, but now that we're here. Now that we uh, wait, wait, she said black thought. We're going to come back to that in a second. Ooh. Go ahead. Go ahead. What were you going to say? No, I was going to say the, the, the verse is coming up. Oh, that is not necessarily meant for you or I. Why you say that? I'm joking. Okay, Kendrick went to the White House. That ain't got nothing to do with it. Hey. Yo, go ahead, finish your point. Go ahead, finish your point. <laughs> That's a wild point. <laughs> Donald Trump went to the White House. Yeah. So it's like, come on, yeah. <laughs> lost some lust a little bit. Not, not the same. Not the same. I feel like I go Yo, knock but, um, on the door and be like, "What up, <laughs> uh, Mr. One Hundred Six in Park and uh, Mr. YouTube Bow Weezy. Like they're they're doing a versus. Where do you get? Okay, let me ask y'all something. Go. Because the flyer that I saw Go. that said all of this is confirmed and all these different um, sites are picking it up Not saying it was true. confirmed. The shit still has Apple Music on the flyer. Mm. Versus has nothing to do with Apple Music anymore. Mm. So that already makes me question it. I don't care what Soldier Boy says and what Bow Wow mm. says is happening. Until I see it on a Versus page... I ain't buying. I ain't buying, son. It's not happening. Mm. It's not happening. So that's why I was like, yo, y'all keep digging into that if you want to. But... um. They're not going to, speaking as businessmen and right. on Triller and all these millions of new viewers that they got now, mm -hmm. you're not going to um, announce your personal rematch that you're one of the owners and creators for and then announce another versus at the same time. They have never done that except for when they rolled out everything with, with on Triller. Yeah. So they're not going to just slide yeah, in now. a Soldier Boy and Bow Wow, which they're probably still on the fence about. That's cause valid. I'm on the fence about it. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, you know how sloppy that's going to be? Bro. Drake? <laughs> <laughs> they, they're gonna bring up each other's exes. It's Whoa. gonna be sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. And when it really comes down to it, eight ball MJG versus UGK need to happen before Soldier Boy versus mm. Bow Wow, and that's just facts. I'm get, I don't even say facts like that because mm. you know what I hate when people make a point and they say facts. facts no, after their own point, so like, yo, you. shut up, clown. Yo, me, you can't say facts. That wasn't true. <laughs> Shit you just said was not. That didn't happen. Or, or when they <laughs> all lies. Or when they say they spit a bar and they be like, yo, bars. Fam, that's not your job to say bars. No, so you gotta let it breathe and let oh. somebody else jump in there. If you don't get that, you gotta let it ride. Yeah, but you know, it. they don't get it. They don't get it. Tell me, nah, wasn't it, bro? We outside. It's a lights. It's a lights. But anyway, so that, that's why I don't believe it's happening. Matter of fact, let me pull up the versus page right now. No, I got it. I mean, it should have known that. Thank but you. I just like talking so, about it. What? I, mean, I, I, I love throwing shit like that. You know, I like the fucking uh, the fan made versus. Court, you should be here. <laughs> I like the fan made verse when I look at them like, ooh, that yeah. see that? Yeah. I like I like those two together if I know it ain't happening, but just because uh they're from that same exact era. Right. And that shit would be that that would go. They both got egos. Oh what? <laughs> Super what? egos. Super ugly. Yeah. But back to what's really happening. It's oh wait, like, wait, do you wanna make you wanna take a guess at this random one? At, at, at this imaginary one, I'm imaginary sorry. Imaginary one? Yeah, who who would win? <laughs> yeah. Just asking that like is Bow wild. Wow. I think I like Bow Wow one. I done learned to stop down Soldier Boy. <laughs> like that, I'm I rolling think, with Soldier. Tell me why. Tell me why. I think Soldier has probably like like four records that are just there's nothing Bow Wow can do with him. Right. But you think Bow Wow got about I think Bow Wow probably has he his twenty is gonna be strong overall. <laughs> he just says like I think um, I think he might play the Snoop Dogg intro, nigga. Like he <laughs> He may have Snoop pop up. Yeah, like yo, does that count? No, nah, that so. does not count at all, bro. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Um, so you going, what would your score be at this imaginary shit that's probably never going to happen? 12-8, Bow Wow. You being respectable? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. He, you're going to be disrespectful. Like I, um, I didn't put that much thought into it. So yeah. 
Me neither. I was off the fly. I, was I just off the, the fly. Cuff. Okay, I'll allow that. I'll allow that. I was so off the cuff. I'm going to go. That's why I said I know a soldier got four of them things. That's just gonna He's like, got more than four. No, I'm talking about four. That's just not going to be nothing you can play. What, what's this four going to be? Turn your swag on. Uh, crank that. What yeah. else? Turn your swag Hit me on, on the phone. Crank that. Um, he got it. It's not, I'm missing something else. Shit been so long. God damn, that's a long time. Ago. I mean, I could think of like four or five other um, Soulja yeah, Boy drums, but you know, I play them. Bow Wow's so. Bow- Bow- just got. I like the joints with Sierra. All the Sierra joints. All the JD joints. <laughs> so, so deaf. He's like got some that. other new ones. He got. You see me sweating, right? This is crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Tampa looking at and holding us down. Thank you so what? much, Tampa. Listen. Life, oh, my gosh. Saving. We, all, we over here. I, I need a rest alert. What, what's the old people thing? <laughs> the life alert? The life alert. I hear it. Jeez. Help us. Is they in the fan alert? Um, you know what I was going to say? I mean, forgetting about Donk and all of that. Too. Um, you oh, know I what? About yeah, like I said, I play. I still play these records. So, yeah. Uh, Donk, <laughs> Jai P said, hold on. Let me get my 2001 iPod from the traffic. For real. <laughs> For this is why real. I didn't want to have this conversation. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to put it down here so don't interfere. All right. <sighs> yeah, that did it. Yeah. Is that more better? Yes, yeah. it is so much more better. Okay. Thank you so much. much. Much more better. Oh my gosh, y'all just don't know. Um, but yeah. So, what I, what was you saying? Um, you saying bow twelve to eight? I'm going soldier twelve to eight because he's got so many um other <laughs> line wire joints we forgetting about. Right. But anyway, let's line get to the real joint. Let's get to the real joint. We're gonna when yeah. that happens, we'll revisit that and yeah. go from there. La Bonita, what up? Ain't you DJing right now? Anyway, uh, <laughs> go ahead, bro. Uh, the real, the real verses. Swizzle. Yes, the rematch Tim that up. I was wrong. Let me say for the first time, first time in twenty twenty one, I was wrong. For the last, yeah, I know gas. Twenty twenty one. For the last, okay. been about seven. That years only happens like once or twice per year. So that's one. I got one more in the last year. six months Decky. of the year. I'm, I'm right that often. Look at you. Talking shit. You believe, but anyway. <laughs> you believe you're right there. <laughs> if I don't believe it, who else will? Mm, come on, man. We outside, bro. You got that off. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. So this is what I'm saying. That was so it. with the real versus. Right. Oh, no. Let me say why I was wrong first. Go. So I kept thinking the rematch was going to be Babyface versus um, Teddy Riley. I want to say Keith Sweat. Shout yeah. out Keith Sweat. But. That's us. No. <laughs> Swizzy and Timbo said we doing a rematch because when we went, when nobody watched it. <laughs> Nigga, What? <laughs> They were trying to get that shit up. They were trying to get the plane off the yo, ground, bro. Listen, listen. But I understood. But that was the, you know, the seedlings. That's what got yeah. planted. You know what I mean? So now, now that the garden has been watered and cultivated, we oh, back I outside. Where, I see where you at. You know what I mean? Honestly, okay. Let me stick to this, and I'm before I start shooting my shot and doing other things. Go. Who you got? Timbo versus Swiss. Oh wait, that's a oh, Sunday too. Bro. Let me throw in the home court advantage because they're doing this in Miami at Live. I'm just guessing there's going to be a light show after every damn song. God. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A light show and a bottle being bored out. I'm just predicting that right now. Because, you know, if you've been to live, you know how live do. Golly. <laughs> hey, it's, it, it's 11-9. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out who's the, who, on which, which way it's going. Hold you on. got time, bro. Hold on. Let me find some sound effects. Hold on. It's 11. Definitely, it's 11-9. <laughs> it's 11-9 nine somewhere. I know that's the score. One way or another. Yeah, I'm trying to think where I'm headed. Yeah. Can I talk for a second while you think, or are you good? Nah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, because the first time they did it, Timbo was unprepared. He was. He was super unprepared because, like I said, Swiss understands where the battle thing comes from. Correct. The clashing thing comes from. So I think Timbo got knocked upside the head a few right. times. Oh, it's like, yo, what are you? I thought we was just playing records. Man, I, thought, I thought I was playing these Maganu records. <laughs> no, Tim, you're not. <laughs> oh, wait, who is Maganu? <laughs> Keep, keep the fucking Maganu records in the Serato. Magoo. Bro. Don't disrespect Magoo I like that, man. I know who Maganu is now. <laughs> Shout out VA. Magnum Citrus. <laughs> Matter of fact, shout out Food Set, man. Yeah, I mean, my Fredo. Yeah, Happy funniest, belated birthday, bro. The funniest, uh, Go ahead. funniest part about that shit is like, yo, he's my homeboy. He didn't even want to rap. I would just force him to do it. Like, Tim came out and said that. It was like, yo, Tim, we could tell. <laughs> Who you got, bro? Because uh, the people are weighing in. I haven't said that I got Timbo. You got Timbo. Uh, but, I, but I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this that's different than the first time. Yeah. Them fucking DMX records about to hit a lot different. Mm. Like, a lot different. Okay, so we're talking, see, and that's the thing that people got to remember. Not talking, because they both have put out MC albums, yeah. I mean, rapper albums, but we're I talking. Wanna I want to hear the production. We're talking the umbrella. Yeah. Right? They got some shit. They do. J records. Like, they got records with the greats. Like Let's go back and forth. It goes Swiss. You got the J records, right? Mm. You got DMX records. You go Timbo. You got the Aaliyah records. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, 
Leah Records are retired. Come on. He got Missy you got Pharrell Records. records I mean, that Timbo got co produced for him. He got, got Missy Records. He got Missy Records. I mean, come on. You have fun. I'm, not, I'm, I'm staying out of this. Bro, <laughs> Fam, like I, like I said, bro, it's 11-9. Yeah, we going 40 so, rounds this time. Yeah, bro, <laughs> take, if you're only going 20, take a coin and flip that shit in there. So you're going 11-9 Timbo, though. You're standing 11, on nine it. 11-9 coin flip. Okay. Yeah, Jop, he, he with you, though. Jop, he say Timbo as well. See, see, see. That that's why I mess with Najee Mango, because she say Swiss. I'm going Swizzy. I, I ain't mad at this. I'm going, you know why I'm going Swizzy, though? Let, so, me, let me tell you why. Because of the experience and understanding how you counter, um, yeah. how you counter react to somebody's punch. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if they really and they're gonna probably cop out this time out. Hold on. Versus going forward, mm -hmm. I don't care if y'all are best friends. Stop telling us it's a celebration of music. Yeah, cut that shit out. We do not want to hear that no more. Yo, put a scoreboard up. Listen, How about that? Even, listen, even, put a scoreboard. Let's go even further. Let's go to Madison Square Garden. Put the scoreboard up. Put it up. on a big board. Let's go. And we keep in score after Let's each round. Let's go, man. That's Come all on, I'm saying. I'm, I'm sorry. I got excited. Nah, I got excited. Because all of the celebration and happy. No, let me not Save do that. It. It. <laughs> you see, I was about to do that. Take it <laughs> We understand you love each other. We love y'all too. We do. We do. But for the sake of our engagement and investment in this and what has happened, we need y'all to not like each other for the next two and a half, three hours. We keep in school. That's it. Because even Ray, I think Ray Kwan and, and, um, and Ghost was the last time, even though he was joking around, mm -hmm. they had a little edge to it. Meth and mm -hmm. Red was a love fest, which you knew. You know what I'm saying? Escape and SWV was on such a high level of um, black greatness and women being amazing that you couldn't even keep track of who was singing what. Well, that was just me. But, you know, going forward, Swiss, Tim, I'm about to call by the governments. <laughs> this Sunday, y'all at live. Kind of think of it, I'll be spending on Sunday. But anyway, um, leave all the friendship stuff a lot, uh, to the side. Let's pretend that one of y'all owns more of verses than the other. And that's the kind of energy I want. It's not a 50-50 split anymore. I need someone to say, yo, I really own 51-49, and you're going to take it out on their head like that. That's what I need to happen. I see you too. So <laughs> that's what I need to happen. So all of that going forward, you still going. Will is handling business because, you know, that's what we're doing on the show. That's fine. That's fine, bro. I got you. I got. That's why we're here. That's why we teamwork. Okay. That's why we teamwork, man. P4AP holders, man. We're here. <laughs> Hold me down. <laughs> Will is going 11-9, Timbo. I'm going 13-7, Swiss. And I'm going 13-7, Swiss, but like I said, because of the um, experience and because – I think after Timbo gets, I, nah, you know what? I can't even say that. that's disrespect. I can't even do that. I can't because I was like, I'm sitting there talking, talking it through myself, and, and, and it's like popping in your head, like and, and the fade the black movie just came up in my head with with Jay's head bobbing his head to dust his shoulders off. Like you hear it? Come on, come on. That's an that's an iconic iconic clip. So it's like beyond the there's no beyond the Missy. You can't even get beyond Missy, and it's like you can't say oh beyond elite. We gonna be here for bro, a minute, bro. I don't need twenty. We gonna be here for a minute. Twenty is not enough. Twenty is not enough, bro. It's not. They should. They it should wasn't go enough. Ahead. It wasn't enough for Fab and Jada. There's no way it's gonna be enough for Swiss. They and should Simbo. do twenty and do a strict like thirty seconds of each record. <sighs> Only one thing wrong with that. That'll give him more time to talk. Cause you know, oh, you know, gosh, Swiss. Swiss yeah. is gonna interest. Swiss is like me when it comes stories, to battles. Bro. Like we gonna. I do. There's still some other things that's gonna hype it up and make it different. And like you said, DMX just passed. There's no other way. Yeah. Come on, there's gonna be stories involved. Some X records are fucking with Come on, man. Come on. All right. I'm actually gonna tune into this one. But uh, <laughs> this, this I'll be working. One ones, I'm but like, I'm, I'm gonna really... watch. The, I'm gonna watch the, um, oh, the replay. I'm gonna watch the replay. Um, but I'm I'm gonna stand on my third my on my 12 eight. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. I'm gonna stand up. Nah, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna stand up my 13-7 Swizzy because that mm. this is gonna be. So you this got, is gonna be. So you got him smacking Timberland. Yeah, twelve eight. I got him smacking Timberland. Yeah. No, that's not. You said thirteen seven. You said thirteen <laughs> <You said> seven. <laughs> <You said 13 laughs> so about those Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. There was something else I wanted to talk about um, yeah. before we got to that, but now we got that out the way. Um, what you got? You want to talk about your Knicks real quick or, or what? Because there was something nah, else serious. Oh, that. you know what? This is what I wanted to talk about. Tell me seven thirty five. I cool. cool. Switching to something a little more serious. George Floyd, year later. How you feeling? I know I'm saying that kind of fast. No, but same I did a year ago. Yeah. Which is what? It's fucked up. Like, it ain't right. Uh, I, I guess to an extent, there was some justice that was that was gotten. But when like we, we're still not all the way there. So it's like, I don't know how anybody can just look at him like, no, nah, I feel good about this now. I don't, Do think, think, I, I don't, think, I, I don't think you'll ever feel good about it. When I feel good about it, do you think there has been 
any kind of noticeable change in the country. For the mainstream, not not the media, fuck them. For the mainstream day to day public, do you think there's been any change? I think the more the more you can put it out, the more people can can look at it and it can be consumed, and people can understand the fact that hey, I know y'all just seeing this shit, but this ain't just start. So so I hope and 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 at some point that will have an effect in the long run. But you know, as long as it took for that shit to get embedded into the society and and into the makeup of America in general, mm -hmm. it's gonna take that long for it to change. It's not gonna happen over a year's time because we we finally seen the video of the police actually doing this shit. We've been saying they've been doing for fucking seventy years. But I'm 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 fucking clearly giving the wrong number out. Yeah, no, that's fine. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's we've been saying they've been doing yeah. they, We've been saying they've been doing this. Right. Like you just didn't want to believe us. So now you're seeing this shit and like, well, he he, uh, shit, yeah. I well, they've been they've been one. seeing it. Yeah, but I think now that one was definitely like, well, he uh, yeah. Nine minutes, bro. nothing. Nine minutes, nothing. Like so, that 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 one was the one that nobody could look at that shit and have some type of defense for the, like, well, maybe he was considering no, no, this wasn't one of those. Mm -hmm. This was a straight like, oh, you murdered a dude on camera, bro. Mm. Like a handcuffed cold-blooded murder mm. of a dude who couldn't do shit defenseless as hell mm -hmm. couldn't be more defenseless and okay. it was and it was fucking 10 of y'all standing there bro but no to go back to the original question is uh nah nothing has changed okay all right do, do i think they're trying to take steps to move to move that direction yeah i would hope so but no nah, no nah, nothing has changed it's been a year that shit ain't doing nothing I mean, it made me think of the question because um, a good friend of mine, uh, Jesse Ross, he lives in Minneapolis mm -hmm. where all this took place. And, you know, he does these morning minutes where, you know, he talks about different categories, different things like that. So when he brought the question on the anniversary of his, I hate to say anniversary, mm -hmm. but the one year later of um, him being killed, being murdered, um, it made me think about it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I keep on, up on it like a lot of us do, but I was really tuned in to see what other people were saying because... What happens a lot with social media is we love annual reminders, birthdays, people's passings, um, incredibly wrong and evil events like this. Right. And it'll be an uproar again. Hmm. You know what I mean? Not as high as before, but it won't be to the same level, of course. And it's just like, OK, what comes next? Thankfully. There are several organizations across the country right now that are continuing to fight for change and seeing that a lot of the laws that have been um, presented to different Congress, not Congress people, but um, lawmakers is still going on. And they still reached out to me and um, my network and, of course, you know, networks across the country to keep on putting pressure on um, the people who change the laws and who can change the laws. So that was one of the biggest effects that I saw this year. Not even saying that those laws have even gone to an effect yet, because the majority of them haven't. Um, but the what's the right word to put this? The reigniting of those causes mm -hmm. one year later is a good sign to me. I agree with you. Minimal change at most. It's been more awareness and letting people see that who aren't affected by it. Um, at least it's in it's affecting their world to some level That's it. you know what i mean um because i was watching one of your favorite podcasts your boy um what's the sports one with um steven and other dude matt First barnes States? matt oh, barnes uh, all the smoke. yeah all the smoke and they had um jeremy lynn on there mm -hmm. and they was on there talking about um you know the new bills that got passed so the quick asian hate, yeah. the asian hate ones right rightfully so matt barnes said you know, when Black Lives Matter happened, I didn't really feel connected to it. Hard stop. I understand you may not be in the field or on the regular. Oh, I thought Lynn said that. No, 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 no. Lynn said that, but then Matt Barnes doubled down on it. Okay. I can understand Lynn saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Matt Barnes? Yeah, you have black. I got an issue with that. I agree. I got an issue with that, bro. You have black. I don't know. And y'all know we don't even like bringing up other podcasts, but that was, yeah. I thought that was... More telling than anything. I don't know if he was trying to do it to connect with Lynn, but it was sad. It was sad to me, like, just hearing you say that. Like, you've been in this country all yeah. of your life. I, I was kind of surprised only because he's been called nigger before. Like, I remember hearing him telling a story about him and his sister going to school and them, them dropping the end bomb on him and him duffing the dude out. Like, so 
that's the part that made me look at him and and say like yeah it's kind of surprising that you would say that yeah yeah and, and like I said, he was trying to me. It came off as him a, being, he's, yeah, he's experienced that type of racism before. Like, and I thought he would be able to say like, "Yo, nah, when Black Lives Matter, I had to get it at first, but no, I got caught up." But no, he was more apologetic about not understanding. And I was like, "What's the name of the podcast again?" All, All the smoke? smoke. Yeah, he about to catch it too. Actually, he already catching it. Uh, <laughs> that's another story. But yo, it was just those times like that when you still had people amongst us. Mm-hmm. Who are still connected to it in one way or another, either directly or indirectly, but you're still fully um, associated with it in one way or another. And you're still saying, oh, I couldn't connect with Black Lives Matter. I didn't feel the same energy. What you looking at? None. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to, you just reminded me of that when you brought that up. But I do agree with you. Um, it's been minimal change. But like I said, the, the work is continuing being done. Oh, yeah. Um, as much as we hate those text messages, those text messages are still important. Um, the Urban League is out here is still out here doing a lot of work. I, I don't want to run down everybody on the list because it's a lot, <laughs> but you know, we out here doing it, um, and we're still going to keep on pushing. Just don't make it. Let's not make it a just an annual thing and like make a big deal about it, and then next minute we got to wait for something else wrong to happen. So that's what I wanted to share about that. You got anything else? Uh, about it, that, I meant. Not about that. Nah, that was well said. Okay. Got that off. Um, go ahead. Cause yeah. <laughs> you ready? Uh, you ready? <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna jump on the Knicks because it's, it's one one. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it where it's at. Yeah. Go Knicks. They come in Atlanta now. Humble. Uh, humble now, bro. Quiet. Oh, no, okay. No, right. We gonna see. All right. Because I saw a different wheel last but night. I, but, so I, but I really want to get into this damn. Um, these NBA fans got to just out here wowing on players. Oh, okay. That More that, racism. All right. Let's go. Like Let's that, do it. Because that, that <laughs> like the whole. Cussing cats out, calling them pussies and bitches and all kind of. Is that what he shit. said happened? No, that's the that's the one I seen in Portland as, as they were walking out. Well, get the people a background because they you right, know they so, may not be the NBA fanatic yeah, that you are. So, so the Portland's walking off the court and people just started calling them all kind of wild shit. Portland that's, was playing who? Uh, they're with Denver. Portland versus Denver. This, yeah, this some, okay. That's the season series right now. So okay. they're cursing them out, but that's whatever. Cursing out don't matter. Yeah, they threw. Uh, they was cursing out Westbrook. And they threw popcorn on Westbrook. So you know Russ from Oakland, bro. Russ, Russ don't talking. play that. Russ, you know how somebody be, be, be fake holding, getting held back? Nah, he wasn't fake. Nah, he wasn't fake. So like, he, they was holding him like for dear life, like, no, please. Yo, man. And it took like four of them. Russ was going. Yeah, so, because so we talking about the, uh, I almost said the Bullets. Mm -hmm. The Washington Wizards, Wizards versus, who they playing? They getting smacked around by Philly right now. Okay, by Philly. So they're in Philly mm -hmm. for game two. Known for being some wild ass fans. All right, put it out there. Talk about it. All right, that's Queens. They know it. Right. They know it. They know it. They they be claiming it. Too. Yeah, they, they know. <laughs> they try to front. Anyway, so Washington game two. This is last night, night before last. I want to say this is last night. It was last night. Okay, I. So Russ got hurt. Right, he's leaving in like the second or third quarter. Walking to the locker room, minding his business. One of the Philly fans. No popcorn. Those popcorn on him from the stands. Russ looked up. And it wasn't. It wasn't like a a, a single colonel. Nah, it was. They, they turned the bag over. Like that. Yeah, they turned the bag over. So Russ is like, yeah, nah. Russ. Russ healed up quick. Listen. Russ said, I'm coming. Yo, the, the adrenaline. Russ. I understand. He was coming, fam. Yeah. Like, it took about, it was about seven people in the hallway holding him. Yo, for real. And he was holding him for real. Yo, like, That yo. wasn't a fake hold me back. Listen, that light skin anger came yeah, through? They, Listen. Yo, hold on, fam. <laughs> it's different when y'all yeah. get bad, man. That, that dude was like, <laughs> they had to hold him for real because he was going. But, uh. <laughs> That um, shit's despicable. Yeah. That, then the even more despicable one that took place was the one in New York, and I'm ashamed to say this shit. What happened? What did the Knicks do? Bro, man. Oh, talking to a the dude, fans? Nah, dude spit on uh, Trey Young. Get out of here. Dead ass. Like, during the game, though. I didn't hear about that. I'm fam. not saying it didn't happen. No, I just didn't hear yo, about that. Fam. Mel B was good, fam. I'm talking about there was two cats. up. They was behind 50, and they was like, so when he, they in the second row. He, oh, so they from Queens? No, nah, you wildin'. <laughs> Definitely had nothing to do with him. Go ahead. <laughs> Let me not put that narrative out there. So I'm they were sitting behind him, and like you just seen like a, something come out, and like it hit him. Like they really, spit on literally kid. spit on him. They spit on him. I didn't see that super slow. Tell you something, man. What did he do though? He, hey, he ran the professional. I don't think he even. I don't even think he really realized it. Wow. Be with you. Now it's like making it just came out the same after thing. the fact. Like yo, fam, let me tell you something, man. Y'all doing too much, man. Yeah, you spit on another. Yeah, doing too much, man. Honestly, Trey Young, you should have washed his ass up. Yeah, he, like you said, he didn't know. Trey, you should, I don't, man, boy. Listen. Don't you spit on me. Ever. No, we, we could argue and go back and forth. What the fuck you want? I could love my Knicks. That's it. Don't you fuck, don't, like, that Come shit's on, that's... like, yo, this is a game, bro. I'm, ain't, ain't no bigger Knicks fan than me. I'm a fanatic. Yeah. But I don't I don't wish nothing bad on Trey Young. Right. Except for having him have a terrible shooting night. <laughs> Other than that. 
I mean, I hope he's blessed and his mom and his family is doing well. Right. I mean, I'm right. not gonna, I am not I don't wish no, like, spit, like, spit on a man. Like, what the fuck is wrong with I you, bro? I definitely miss that. Like, where, where is your mindset at that you would think that shit is an option to do to another human being? Wow. Sounds like some privilege shit, but, you know, I'm just assuming. Man, and I ain't going to call a dude racist because I don't know what the hell he was. I mean, he, he wait, I, wait. No, they got his picture. Oh, he out oh, here. Oh, yeah. They got his oh, ass. Really? They banned, they oh, banned, we him. They banned him for life. From the garden? Yeah. They didn't press charges, though? They said that the charges, been, they said the, uh, the footage and everything's been passed over to the authorities. Oh, boy, here we so go. So that means probably not. All right, so if you... Sp- <laughs> yeah, how would you even say it out loud? <laughs> for me to... Nigga. Exactly, like that's just <laughs> what he thought, yeah. and then he spit after that. Bro, let me tell you something. Oh, all I keep thinking was like he spit right over top of Fifty and his lady. Why the spit couldn't have just fell on Fifty's like cheek? Because I'm gonna tell you who wasn't gonna let shit ride. Queens activated. <laughs> Curtis was not letting that shit ride a, even I don't mean a lie. little I don't mean bit. Lie. That's not funny, but it's not. It's, it's, well, funny listen. would have been an ass whooping that would have ensued. Oh man, because I could. You couldn't. Can you even imagine somebody doing that and that shit slapping Fifty in the face and him just being like, "Nah, it's cool." That got to be water dropping. <laughs> From I, could, the I could just see him pausing like I know he ain't been using the garden the last few weeks so I'm gonna assume that's water dropping yeah. on me he probably see, could 50 was to himself I can cost me about 5 million dollars I got it <laughs> run it <laughs> let's go it. we have listen you, you gonna get all of this shit oh my <laughs> gosh it would have cost him more than 5 million <laughs> that's fine 10 20 that's, I, I can live with it. it it might be worth it but what what are y'all what are y'all doing what are y'all doing what are y'all bro? doing with your life that Cause you you're, would think you spit on you know another what? man at, at work. I, I don't want to talk about. Like, I don't want to talk about it so we could bring dude's name up. That because then I would. You know what? Like that's like getting cold fries at McDonald's left. and spitting you on a girl behind the register because the, the fries were cold. Like, which has happened work, before. Bro. Which has happened before. Yeah, like you out of control, man. Um, you're out of control. What else we got to talk about? Because I'm gonna come back to that. Oh no, I'm all, I'm all for that. So I'm gonna end on a positive note. But we got a few minutes. We not we not there yet. Look at that. I only typed it in halfway and it came up. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> court, you got a good reason not to be here, but this, this, I'm doing your job again, Court. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nah, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm done with that, uh, with that story. Nah, I was trying to find his name out for me, but nah, go ahead. What we got? Because we got a couple other things I wanted to talk about. All right, so go ahead. You get into it. I don't remember nothing. That, keep, keep going. It, nah, I remember I was, stuff when you talked to me about Master stuff. P received an honorary doctorate degree from Lincoln University. Oh yeah, another. Yeah, we can talk about fake degrees. Go ahead. Let's do it. <laughs> Congra- congrats to Master Holy P. Shit. What did Master P do to you? Nothing. I'm just talking about the honorary degrees. I want one, and that's why I'm upset because I ain't got one yet. Mm-hmm. What a brother got to do to get an honorary degree? Do I got to be a billionaire? Get you some rap snacks. <laughs> get, some rap snacks. <laughs> get you some. Get you some noodles. I'm saying I'm outside though, son. Get, get I'm you, outside. Get, get you some noodles. Eat what up? Get you some. Um, ice, get you some ice cream. Get, <laughs> do all of that together. You be in there. <laughs> Take over the supermarket, man. Yo. <laughs> Go do amateur basketball for a while. Basketball. Drop a few platinum albums, and then I could get me an um, honorary degree. It has nothing to do with. All right, I'm sorry. Congrats to P. I ain't Congrats mad to P. At you. We gonna I, leave that I'm just mad right. at some of these universities, man. But you no, know, what was it for? What did they? They made him a doctor, right? I don't think they did make him. Yeah, it's a doctor degree. Yeah. God, yeah, okay. my fault. I told you, I'd be, I'd be excited, nice. man. Master B has done much over the course of his career. Oh boy, with the mogul go. going from hip hop world to NBA to sports management and more. Yep. Now Master P revealed that he received an honorary doctorate from Lincoln University. Even the way you said it, you know. I'm just saying, you said it because you know. <laughs> the degree was given to Miller during Lincoln University's graduation ceremony this past weekend, which featured over 400 graduates of the historically black college located in Pennsylvania. Mm. While being honored, Master P was recognized as a philanthropist. Mogul, producer, actor. You killing me? And entrepreneur. <laughs> From now on, that's how you read. <laughs> Thank you, Master P. You're black. Not yeah. black. I'm joking, yeah. man. I'm fucking with you, man. But shout out to P. You know, I'm a fan. You know, no, no, no. Like, all, I'm, yeah, I'm, I know I'm giving him a hard. Yeah, no, we're gonna I'm not fuck. giving him a hard. I'm giving Lincoln University. Not even just Lincoln okay. University. All these universities that are giving out honorary degrees. Some worthy, some not. Where's mine? That's all I'm saying. I'm doing a lot right now. I'm trying to find my point. I had to tell no stuff, but go ahead though. Congrats to Pete though. All jokes aside, somewhat. That, that same day they gave one to um, Jay Z's mom too. What? She got one for what? Hmm? Huh? She got she got a degree too that day. From Lincoln? Hmm. Oh wow. They oh so they rolled out the red. Car- Listen, man. Mm. I see what you're doing. They rolling out the red red carpet. They I see smart. what they're doing. Smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are gonna do. We gonna how, do. How I always say we need backing from our from our hip hop moguls and rappers and all of that. Yes. Probably a good idea to. Uh, you you love what Jay Z's mom's in. You're gonna get the son. 
Hopefully. That's the plan. You, but then, you get P in there. Yeah. Get some more eyes on the university. Yeah. I mean, no, it's it's smart to do hurt. it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get can't it. hurt. Like I said, I, I'm really not mad. I'm just really talking somewhat. Yeah, I don't know. We just fucking. Just a little bit. But, um, you know. What else you got? Black colleges, since we're on that roll. Speaking of. Let's roll. Um, Howard University, the alma mater of um, Mr. Chadwick Bozeman. They renamed the Fine Arts College after him. I thought that was real big. Kind of. Um, making sure the legacy continues on. Got to. Because, you know, we remember Chadwick, and the next generation will. But the next next generation may get kind of shaky. Right. A lot of things happen in the world. Things happen fast. So I was happy and, and proud to see it. Um, how was we doing a couple big things? They brought, they brought Felicia Rashad back to be over the another department. department. She's over the finance department mm -hmm. as well. So they renamed the finance department after Mr. Chad Bozeman, and they brought back uh, Felicia Rashad to run the fine art. Yeah. Salute y'all, man. Come on, man. Listen. Yeah. If you're going to do it, let's do it. Yeah. When I be on the mic, I be trying to tell people, like, yo, it's party time. It's go time. If we're going to do it, let's do it. Let's Howard, go. that's how you do it. 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 Um, Any last? We got we to gotta get out of here in a second. Yeah. Oh, Rock Nation School of Music. Good looking. You see, you see, this is why we got the same followers that we got. You know, He was talking about um, what they named the School of Music after um, Jay's mom after. Oh shit! Don't yeah, yeah. I yeah, know. Yeah. She, I know she had got it because she's been doing a lot of work with that Sean Carter Foundation. So she, the Sean Carter Foundation, has been sending kids to school. Oh, hip hop is back news. Look at that. They've been sending and paying for uh, scholarships for the last, I would say, fifteen years, um, quietly and maybe not so quietly. And she has been ahead of that. You know, um, salute. They've been doing summer camps, and you know what? One day we're gonna do a whole show just on hip hop giving back and the different artists, entertainers, and people who have done so much. Cause mm. you know, we share it on social media, we share it on the website, but I think talking to it in this, this about platform, it in yeah. this arena, in this platform, it's a little bit different. So we, I, I don't know when it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna happen. Um, I like that shirt. Thank you, bro. Speaking of which, happy Memorial Day. Salute to uh, everybody who um, gave their service to us. That's, you know, sincere. I appreciate y'all. A lot of our close friends mm -hmm. served. Um, thank y'all ahead of time. So this was, this is the Hip Hop Gives Back um, Memorial Day South Beach edition. Mm -hmm. So we're celebrating. If you ain't got your fit together for this weekend yet, you're <laughs> mad late. But um, <laughs> if you're in Atlanta, I can still get it to you That's in time. It. We get you straight. Yeah, we get you straight, yeah. Um, Hip Hop Gives Back South Beach edition with the trademark and all the good stuff. Yes, yes, yes. It, yes. CE bringing up more good stuff. Shout out Knife Wonder. I forgot he got, they brought him on as well. But anyway, let's get out of here, man. Um, Because I felt like I had a couple other things, but... Yeah, they, they get kind of negative. Yeah, they can wait. They can wait. They're not. They're not as pressing it's, as that. End on that positive. Yeah, positive let's end on that note, man. You know what I'm saying? Got it. Um, appreciate y'all checking in once again. Facebook, YouTube, um, Instagram, mm. and all that good stuff. Um, shout out J Cole on that album. Even though Will is sleeping on it. Not at all. Yeah. So Will has got Timbo this Sunday. I got Swizzy. Um, hey, we gonna recap that for sure. We are gonna couple a uh, couple couple more things. So we appreciate y'all interaction. Um, Absolutely. Salute. It's um it's welcome, as y'all can tell. We love interacting with y'all. We're gonna do some more of that too. I like We're working on some things. Some things are gone. <sighs> on three? Three, two, one. Yep. yep.